there are two major differences that I see between lecturing, teaching, and facilitation. One is the amount of control or agency that the learner has over what they're learning. And the other one is the amount of active participation required of different people in the room. So with lecturing, the person who's educating has complete control over what's being learned and is the only person who's actively participating the whole time. Whereas on the other side of what is kind of like a spectrum, we have facilitation where the group learning has almost all the control over what they're learning and the person who's in the educator role has a shared level of participation with everybody else in the room. Relatively, everybody has much lower and equal participation in the learning. And in the middle, we have teaching where the, the educator has a lot of control, but not exclusive control because they'll check in with the group and they'll make sure that people are learning things and that the learners have um, some level of active participation, but not exclusive participation. And it's, it's kind of the balance between the two. Um, the big thing for me is that one is not better than the other. They're different. And when you have to control what's being learned, if there's something very specific that people need to walk away from a space knowing, facilitation is not the best thing to choose. Uh, but if you have some general goals and you want things to be learned in a co-creative way and you really want them to stick, facilitation is amazing because people learn from their own learning, they learn from one another, and that kind of learning just like hits home.